a doctor, but I play one on the global interwebs. Hey everybody, it's Joe Roberts at OneWineDude.com, and I'm here today to talk to you about red wine headaches. There's been a lot of, of chatter about that in the news and, and subsequently in wine blogs, and I thought I'd try and compress some of that information in a few minutes here and give you the, the nitty gritty on it. Red wine headaches is a real phenomenon. Fortunately, I don't suffer from it, but I know people who do and have complained to me about it, asked me questions about it. So I want to talk to you today about some things that are happening in the medical world around red wine headaches and also talk about what I think are probably the, is probably the cause of most people's headaches, not necessarily red wine headaches, after they're drinking wine. And also talk to you about what is probably not the cause of headaches that you might be getting if you're getting headaches after drinking wine. So first thing is that there's, there's actually been some interesting studies and, and developments happening on this very recently in British Columbia where a scientist in the medical field who actually suffers from red wine headaches, uh, when, he, when he drinks wine, he actually gets a, a reaction uh, not, a, not unlike a migraine and happens actually very quickly after drinking the wine. And he thinks actually that he's narrowed it down uh, potentially to a root cause, which could be the uh, histamines that are produced as a result of some fermentation that is done on most known red wines and some uh, white wines as well, called malolactic fermentation. So he actually thinks that uh, with enough development, it could create yeast strains that will uh, reduce the amount of histamines that are a result from that process. Some people do react very strongly to those histamines, and that could indeed, in, in a sort of allergic reaction uh, type of scenario, start to cause headaches, according to the studies. Uh, so now. One thing that your red wine headaches probably do not result from is an allergy to sulfites. And this is probably the most maligned ingredient in wine. And I, I feel bad for sulfites at this point because it's the only ingredient listed on a wine bottle for the most part in the U.S. And it's only listed there because some people have a very uh, intense, life-threatening reaction to sulfites. That manifests itself almost entirely in uh, a life-threatening respiratory condition. It almost never causes headaches. So if you have a sulfite allergy, you would actually have known this a long time before you ever took a sip of wine. Because as a, as a kid, not drinking alcohol, right, you probably would have had some dried fruits, which have typically a lot more sulfites than would be added to wine to stabilize wine. And you would have had a reaction that probably landed you in the hospital. So don't pick on the sulfites. It's probably not their fault. They're probably not giving you a headache. Saying probably because I'm not an actual doctor, but the odds are certainly not in favor of the sulfites giving you the headaches. Okay, so you need to pretty much get the sulfite thing out of your mind if you don't already have a documented case of being allergic to sulfites. Additionally, white wines tend to have more sulfites added than reds in order to stabilize them. So that one further debunking the red wine headache related to sulfites myth. Finally, I want to tell you about the number one cause of headaches after drinking wine in my experience. The number one thing, again, not a doctor, but number one thing is it's a result of dehydration after consuming too much alcohol without enough water. In other words, it's a hangover. So what you need to do is either drink less wine that night before, or drink a glass of water with every glass of wine that you're imbibing, or both, okay? Far and away, the most common cause that I run into for a headache after drinking wine, hangover, good old fashioned. Plenty of remedies for that, but the only one I've ever found to work is, a, is the tried and true Bring the water, pour it down your throat. I know it's a pain in the butt when you're out, but do it anyway because you and all your friends, anyone you contact the next day, if, you know, after you see them after having this hangover, are going to thank you for it. All right? Anyway, it's Joe Roberts signing off, reminding you to drink like your pleasure depended on it. And now let's take a look at that nasty rash that you've got.